Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I set up my bullet journals for November. Um, I'm filming right now, so I thought I would kind of do a live voiceover. Um, I thought it would be a little bit more personal, and you can just see what I'm doing at the moment when I'm doing it. So yeah, I'm going to show you a little flip through of my October um, weekly spreads and stuff like that. So if you saw my October setup, this is the theme that I did. I am probably going to keep the layout pretty simple this month as well. As you know, I've been simplifying my spreads a lot and it has really helped me in my productivity and stuff like that. Not everything is filled out because I'm filming on Wednesday, so we're only here, um, so I still have a little bit to go. And yeah, this was my first weekly spread. I ended up changing the date here because I accidentally did the last week, which I already did in September, so I didn't really need that. Um, but yeah, and then this is what the next week looked like. As you can see, I don't always fill out everything, but yeah. And then this is the week I'm on right now, and I still have to do next week, so I'm just gonna leave one page empty and then start on this page over here. For this month, I wanted to do a sort of space theme and I'm gonna be using the acrylograph pens by Art and Olive again. I have these two shades picked out which I thought would work really well. Um, just a dark and a light blue and I did do a little sketch before in Procreate what I wanted the cover page to look like so this is what I came up with. Um, yeah so I'm gonna be doing these kind of space blobs I guess <laughs> and then going on with white uh, to draw the stars and stuff. So here I'm just gonna sketch out what I already planned out in Procreate. And this is just so that I have a rough guide of where I'm gonna be placing stuff and if it's centered and stuff like that. All right, I just zoomed you guys in so you can see a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I just left nine spaces on each side because November has eight letters, so that makes it perfectly centered. So first I'm going to go in with the um, darker shade, which is a really dark blue, and I'm just going to outline all the shapes and fill them in. And the collection I bought is the uh, Jewel collection, just in case you're wondering. So for the shapes, I just kind of wanted to create more irregular shapes so that it looks kind of organic, and I thought it would be kind of fun to fill those in. So first blotch is all done. All right, so let's move on to the next ones. I think these ones are gonna be pretty quick to do. All right, so last one. I'm almost finished here. And if the ink ever stops flowing or you get like dry splotches, uh, you can just press down on the nib or shake it up first and then it should work just fine again. Okay, we're all done. If you use the acrylograph pens, I would definitely recommend wiping the nib after you use it. So I just have some tissue paper here and you just kind of like press down on it a little bit so that the excess paint just kind of comes off and you don't get any blockage or anything like that. Alright, so while the paint dries a little bit more, I'm going to use my Muji gel pen to just write the title underneath. And I think I might actually start on the outside with the light blue. So yeah, I'm just going to put some like little stars and stuff like that, um, just to kind of fill in the empty spaces and make it look a little bit more interesting. So for the stars, I was thinking of either using the Acrylograph white pen that comes with the pack or um, the usual Uniball Signo gel pen that I love to use. So I might just do a little test swatch. I'm going to try the Acrylograph one first. Okay, so they're pretty big, but I think I could work with that. And then I'm going to try the Signo gel pen, I think. It's maybe a little bit smaller. No, actually it's just about the same. Okay, 
So I think I'm gonna just use the Acrylograph pen. I think it might hold up a little bit better on top of the other Acrylograph. Okay, and this time I'm gonna start on the left side so that I don't smudge any of the wet paint. <laughs> I'm just trying to kind of scatter them a little bit so that doesn't look super planned. If you just barely touch the paper, you can get some really small dots, so I think that's perfect. Alright, so I think that looks pretty cute. I'm gonna also use a little bit more of the dark blue around the outside like I did with the lighter blue. And yeah, in general, I just wanted to say I really love coming up with these super simple themes that literally like everybody could do this, right? And I think you guys are liking them too, which I've had super, super positive responses to both of my last Plan With Me videos, which was super exciting. And I think we're at, at like... 1700 <laughs> subscribers or something like that and i really wasn't expecting that so yeah thank you guys for you know subscribing joining our little community and i can definitely relate to the feeling of you know if you see a lot of super pretty setups everywhere you're gonna think that you know your own bullet journal isn't good enough or something which is kind of ridiculous and i guess the main thing to remember is that it's just for you, yeah, like you don't even have to show anybody. <laughs> and if you don't feel like, you know, filling out a spread or even making it, then that's totally fine too. Like you don't have to do it every month or every like week or whatever. <laughs> I think I want to put like two little stars next to the title. I think that may look cute. All right, that looks pretty cute. Okay, so I think that might already be it for the cover page. I don't think I want to really add any more. Okay, so on my other page, I wanted to do a little calendar this time because I have a few more events that I need to kind of keep track of over the month. I think I want to do just like three by three spaces for each day. All right, so I'm going to use the lighter shade of blue for the weekdays on the top and then at the border in the darker blue, I think. Alright, so I think I might actually use um, the Muji gel pen instead for the border because I think the acrylograph might be a little bit too broad. And I am using a ruler again. I really like the clean look at the moment, so that's why I've been using a ruler a lot. You could do this freehand as well if you want. I've never actually tried just filming and talking at the same time, so I'm sorry if I'm like rambling a lot, but I thought this would be kind of fun. It feels a little bit more like we're just, you know, hanging out <laughs> and I'm just talking to a friend or something. Um, but yeah, so this is the calendar. I kind of messed up the edges here, but I'm just gonna correct it a little bit. All right, and then for the date, I think I'm gonna do a circle in the dark blue and then write on top of it in white again. So I'm just gonna put a circle in each like upper left corner. Right, so the pen is a little bit too big for the date or for writing the date, I should say. So I'm just gonna cover up these three again and I think I might use the Unibol Signal gel pen instead because I think it's a little bit smaller for just writing. Okay, let's try it with this one. I think that might work a little bit better. So yeah, that worked out pretty well. You can't read them super well, but I can tell what they're meant to be. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna use three colors. Yeah, I think I might do these three. And I'll do one for birthdays because there are a lot of birthdays in November. One for events and then one for other stuff that I need to write down. Alright, so I'm gonna add some of these stars and everything that I put on the outside now so that I can just wait for these blobs to dry completely. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna create sections where I can write down what events are happening and stuff. Alright, so I think I'm gonna write the title in the light blue and then just add a border again in the black. I'm gonna add my Instagram and YouTube growth trackers down here and I think I might just use the light blue for all the titles in this setup. Okay, I think I'm gonna also add just a little star like in the corners because I think it might look a little bit cuter that way. Alright, so technically I'm done with this page, but I don't really like the colors with the whole spread, so I'm gonna just cover them up uh, with the dark blue and then just add like an icon instead of the colors. And I'm also gonna change uh, the titles down here because I don't really like the way they look at the moment. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just gonna write some icons instead of the colors here. So I'm gonna use a star for birthdays. Let's use a square for events, and then let's do just a circle. Okay, so over here on this page, I'm gonna do my habit trackers, and I'm just gonna stick to the layout that I did for September and October because it worked really well for me. So I am just gonna write the title in the light blue again. So I'm gonna do seven spaces for the habits here. I always like to leave one space of border at the side. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so I think I'm gonna write the title of the habit in the light blue, then do the weekdays in the dark blue, and then just do a border in black again. So I think in the middle here, I'm gonna write, I need more space. I'm just gonna use the lighter blue. And I'm just gonna decorate with more space bubbles, whatever you wanna call them, <laughs> and some more stars as well. So I'm gonna just add my little stars again, just like I did with all the other ones. All right, so I'm just gonna do some lines just like I did with these titles up top because I don't wanna crowd everything too much. Okay, so I feel like that looks okay. I'm just gonna do pretty much the same thing for my weekly habits and then for my monthly habits too. Okay, so I have four weekly habits and I'm just gonna do some little boxes to fill in each week. It's actually already getting kind of dark outside at the moment. It's 6 p.m. where I live and the sun is setting a little bit sooner already but it's also kind of cloudy today, so it's getting a little bit darker. I hope the lighting isn't gonna be too bad, but I might have to continue filming tomorrow. Actually, 
actually it's kind of crazy to think that it's already November, like time is passing super quickly these days. But yeah, I'm gonna add, oops, little boxes here as well and then I'm gonna add the doodles on the left side. I'm just gonna quickly add um, some lines here because I I don't like how this spacing is looking. <laughs> Alright, let's add some more stars and then I think I might have to continue filming tomorrow because I think the lighting is just gonna be super bad now. Alright, so I just finished my Have a Tracker page. I think it turned out really cute, but since I started filming a little bit late today, um, it's been about two hours and it's getting quite dark outside, so I'm gonna just stop recording right now and finish the rest of the spread tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so I'm back. Today is Thursday and I'm gonna finish <laughs> making this spread. Um, it's very windy outside, so I'm sorry if you can hear like the trees rustling and stuff. But I'm gonna get myself a cup of tea and then we're gonna start with the rest of the spread. Okay, so on this side I'm gonna do my study tracker and also like some different sections. Um, I'm not gonna do the art study tracker that I did last month because I didn't really use it a lot, so I'm just gonna do my Korean study tracker. So I'm just gonna write the title over here again. Okay, so then for last month I did um, just a study tracker that has like a little calendar and it's just two by two spaces for each day. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do for this one as well. And I think for this one I'm just gonna write the date in the darker blue in the upper left corner of each day. And then over on this side I'm just gonna add the categories that I'm tracking. And I'm just gonna use the first letter of each like category to track um, inside the calendar. Okay, so the camera just cut out, but I just added these three sections. And then underneath here, with this little empty space, I'm just gonna decorate it a little bit with some stars, I think. And then on the other half of the page, I'm just gonna add some sections. Okay, so for the sections, I think I'm gonna go for the same style that I did on my like second page. So I'm gonna write the title in the lighter blue here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do one for Etsy and then also one for my YouTube uh, stuff that I have to keep track of. And then I'm also gonna add uh, two more sections for my bachelor's degree and also my freelance uh, work that I'm doing at the moment. So then I'm also going to add these little stars um, that I did before. And then to finish off this page, I'm just going to add some little space blobs again, <laughs> um, just to balance out the whole spread. So I think that's it for this spread and then I'm just gonna move on to my weekly spread which I'm gonna do on these two pages. Alright so for this weekly spread I'm just gonna do eight boxes and they're gonna be 11 spaces wide with two in between each one and then 17 spaces tall with two in between. And I always like to just leave one space uh, all around as a border and I think I'm just gonna outline them all right now and then fill them in later.
Okay, and I'm just going to write that date uh, with the Muji gel pen just because it's a little bit finer than the acrylographs. And I'm thinking maybe I'll write a little quote here. Um, I think I already used that one too, but it just says, uh, you are the universe experiencing itself. And I just think it's so pretty, so I think I'm going to write it here. I guess I'll write it in the light blue. I think that would look nice. Actually, I think I'm going to also write November just on the top because it looks a little bit empty up there. Alright, so then for the weekdays, I'm just going to write uh, the first three letters of each day on the top here. Okay, and then I'm just going to write the dates on the bottom here and the darker shade of blue. I think for decoration, I'm just going to add little stars in each corner and I'm just going to switch between the two blue shades. Alright, so as a finishing touch, I just added some more doodles and some lines in between the days here. So yeah, that's it for this spread. I'm just gonna give you a little flip through. So yeah, starting with the cover page, I really love how this turned out. Um, I enjoy using these little space blobs to decorate all the pages and I'm definitely gonna change this because it really bothers me that it's not the same color as the paper. <laughs> but overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I generally really love the habit trackers that I'm doing at the moment. I really enjoy using them. And I think this page is also going to be very productive for me. <laughs> so yeah, and then the weekly spreads are usually pretty simple. I like to keep them kind of minimal and clean looking so that I can just fill everything in. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you end up recreating my spread, definitely tag me at Art and Bujos. I would love to feature you in like my story or something. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching um, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!